So today we are going to write an exponential equation, y equals a to the power, or a times b to the power x, whose graph passes through these two points. So how can we do that? First thing we need to do is we need to sub in each of these two points for x and y. So the first equation we would get is that 6 is equal to a times b to the power of 1. Or in other words, 6 is equal to a times b is fine as well. And then my second point is that um, 54 is equal to a times b cubed, like that. So that's where we're going to start. Now what we need to do is we need to solve for a and for b. And so I'm actually going to simplify this first equation a little bit and uh, divide both sides by a to get that b or actually, let's, uh, let's do the opposite, actually. Let's divide both sides by b. That would mean a is equal to 6 over b. And then I'm going to sub this equation, a equals 6 over b, into my second equation. So I'm just going to put that in brackets. That's what we're doing here, that we are going to sub a equals 6 over b into this equation to get 54 equals 6 over b times b cubed. And now we're just going to continue solving for b. So that means that 54 is equal to 6b squared, right? Because the b on the bottom here cancels with one of the b's here, essentially, is what happens there. So that's why that is. And then I'm going to divide by 6. So 8 times 6 is equal to um, or sorry, 9 times 6 is equal to 54. So if we divide both sides by 6, we get that b squared is equal to 9. And that means if we take the square root of both sides, we get that b is equal to 3. And for an exponential uh, function specifically, we only actually care about the positive answer. We can't have a negative base in this case. And therefore, 3 is the only solution we actually care about. Uh, now, in order to find the a value, I need to plug in this b value back into one of my original equations. I'm going to choose the first one, the 6 equals a b, because that one seems easier. I'm going to sub b equals 3, since we know that b equals 3 is the case now. That means 6 is equal to 3a, which means a is equal to 2. And so therefore, the final equation in y equals a b x form is y is equal to 2 times 3 to the power of x. And that right there that's boxed in, that is our final, final answer for the equation. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comment section, and we'll see you for the next one.